I first became acquainted with him through the Home Builders Association. And when I joined about 13 years ago, he was one of the most welcoming of all of the members. And um, he was very involved and helped me to get more involved with the association. I first became acquainted with him in the late 80s. I was living in Odessa, Texas and working in a power sports dealership there. And we became friends. I had known his name forever. I've known him for the length of time that I've been at the Chamber of Commerce, which is 20 years. And this person obviously has meant a lot, not only to the Chamber and all of his legislative activities and all the work that he's done with us, advocating with us on behalf of business, but he's also done a wonderful job as a developer in our community and doing things that obviously probably not a whole lot of other people would do. So I was wanting to build a house back in the 90s for my family and I met this person uh, shopping for lots and he happened to have some. I was having some problems getting a lot and I called him and he uh, helped me acquire the lot and it was my first time to build a house for my family. That's how I met It was at a luncheon that, um, that we first became acquainted and it was after I'd spoken uh, about uh, the company Moonlight Musicals. First of all, I would describe him as genuine. He does not have um, the ability to be fake or to function with pretense. He is just who he is. We just formed a relationship that was uh, really strong, had a strong bond back in the day. And uh, just, just really, it, motorcycles tied us together. So when I first met him, he just was always as friendly as it could be, just never never declined anything. You know, anytime I would call him, he was always very helpful. And uh, I would say, without a doubt, the first time you meet him, you know that he's someone special. He's like my older brother. He's, he, he, he's an angel. He, he cares. Wonderful family man. He chose a very beautiful woman to be his wife, and she's wonderful. Uh, she balances him uh, just in such a wonderful way. He has seen the potential in things and helped them to grow by not only giving financially, but giving his time, his energy, his endorsement, his encouragement. And without that, a lot of things would not have happened in Lubbock. Well, Lubbock would be different without him. It would not be as advanced or uh, the community center that it is. As a motorcycle rider and as a motorcycle salesman, he's had a lot of fun in his life. Uh, but more so than anything else, he's given a lot of his time, talent, and treasure to our community. He, uh, he and I started talking. He was ready to make a move and he had his choice of who to sell his dealership to. I mean there was anybody in the nation who would want this dealership in this community you know this size and uh, it was real lucrative and he actually picked me. I couldn't afford it. There's no way you know I'm just just your normal working guy that is working for a living and two car payments and a house payment and well, I mean, I would say a lot of people that know me know that I wouldn't be in business without him. It was really wonderful to, to see him come forward and, and say, uh, I want to help. And I would say that that's probably the, the thing that most impressed me was the idea of, I want to help. For some people, he's plowed the ground. For other people, he's fertilized ideas that they've already had, but just needed a little help. That he and I started visiting about buying the dealership. And, you know, I think the first time I told him, I said, well, I can't pull this off. I can't, you know, do this. And, and uh, he says, well, I want you to buy it. He says, because you will take care of my customers that I've had for 31 years. And, you know, I thought that was a big compliment. He wanted me there, and I just took that to heart. And he, sorry.
anyway he uh, he provided an opportunity <laughs> to a young man anyway and he gave me a buyback guarantee if I wasn't successful within the first three years he would buy it back and I was like wow I have nothing to lose all the gain and it's all because of him but I tell people every day I'd be sacking groceries be working at 7-Eleven what for him I think his greatest accomplishment is his ability to believe in others and facilitate their accomplishments and their success. You know, the servant is a good way to describe him and, and truly in the biblical sense too. But nonetheless, one of the things that we like best about this guy is that he came up with this. And last year, he revised this opportunity for the Chamber's effort in the 70s. But that's how much he loves Lubbock. I wouldn't be where I'm at in, in Lubbock, Texas, and at Texas Tech University without his advice and without him. He's kind. He's fair. And he, to me, he's Lubbock's finest citizen, without a doubt. I mean, he's, he's strong, strong, strong enough. Congratulations, George and Linda. George, you know you have been one of my very best friends, one of my closest friends, and I am so thrilled for you to be honored in this way today. No one is more deserving, and I sure do love you. So George, I just want to tell you congratulations. You and Linda do so much for our community, and for me personally, you deserve all you get. George, I appreciate you and I thank you uh, for all you've done for Lubbock, for me, multiple others in town. And you're the most well-deserved, I mean, you deserve this uh, from any organization in Lubbock and I'm just proud to be a part of it.